This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Brothers, the last time I was here, I showed this sign, which was given to me by someone praying in front of this death mill. I don't remember who. Now the sign again says, Jesus loves you. And I remember talking about how the love of God manifested in his son is the basis of faith and provides a sound anchor for moving forward in life. Now notice this sign also says, it's a bit smaller, it says, pass it on. It also says in even very, very small print, do everything in love, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Brothers, we are called not only merely to receive the love of Christ and hold on to it as our foundation, but also we are to become that love. All Christians are called to bring love to others, which he showed us, our Lord showed us initially. As St. John says, we love because he first loved us. Yes, we bring truth and compassion and service to others, but ultimately we bring love to them. That's the core mission. Now that is sometimes hard to remember when gauging here in the struggle to defend life. There are medical and non-medical personnel working in this pro-death facility, ready to take money to abort children in the womb. And many enter this building who willingly kill their own preborn child. And this is something I believe that's outrageous and inherently intrinsically criminal. And brothers, while I'm here to witness to the dignity of life, I've come to learn that is the love of Christ ultimately which makes the point. I'm not here to win an argument. I'm not here to set people straight, but to pass on the love of Christ, to inspire all with that which is positive that only the love of God can bring. As St. Paul says in Ephesians, walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. That makes the difference. It took me a while to learn that in the face of frequent hostility here. Brothers, Christ himself gave up himself in love of great sacrifice. And that is the calling when praying and manifesting truth, especially truth in front of this death mill. Like that passage of St. Paul in Corinthians, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Brothers, may love be first in the testimony of our words and in the witness of our lives. Otherwise, our efforts will be only noisy clatter. Brothers, God be with you. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.